quick before we get to the content of this video. I just picked up a package from the mail and I think we can all guess where this is from. So I told you guys I would give you an update when I received this package. Let's see, let's check this out. It's a business card that I'll probably never read. Some letter thing that I'll probably never read. Oh, this people actually like frame this up. I guess I'll read that later. But this is the main content right here. Presented to du Dulex for passing 100,000 subscribers. So this is it, man. This is what I've been waiting for. I kind of like it. It's got, it's like, it's not super cheap. It's not beat up or anything from the mail. As of recording this video, I've already past like over 125,000 subscribers. They don't like send you these things right away. You actually have to like communicate with them where they're gonna send it to you and stuff. And they have to like review your channel, make sure you didn't like cheat to get the views or whatever. So this is a pretty big thing for me. I've been on and off of YouTube for the last seven years. And for the last two years, I've been actually really serious about it. Never thought I would actually cross this mark, but I did. So all I can do now is just thank you all for viewing. I know that a lot of you are gonna say I was the one who put in all the work to make the videos and get the content and get everyone to watch it. But I really appreciate you who's out there just watching these videos because you have no idea how much of an impact that has on my life and on the lives of other people around you. Because when you watch a video or you like it and you uh, comment on it, then that pushes the video to more people. It's gonna show up in front of more people and they might click on it, they might watch it, and then that will affect them as well. Oh yeah. Uh, I already made my 100k thank you video, but just wanted to update you guys and say one last thanks for all of this. Anyway, thanks again one last time. 100,000 subscribers got the plaque. Thank you, and let's get back into the content of the video. So I was planning on starting construction on the kitchen in this episode. However, the issue that I'm running into is that the way that the van is set up right now, there's really no storage space available. I mean, right now there's not even room for me to store the battery, the water tanks, the extra cushions for the couch when it turns into a bed. My only solution to all of this stuff is to build a raised floor. And that's going to help me store all of the extra stuff that needs to go down there and supply a ton of storage to this usable space. The first thing I gotta do is chop up a bunch of two by twos to use as the base of the floor. So let's get this started so we can get this floor done. shower into the raised floor. I wasn't thinking about doing this because I was thinking about putting it into the kitchen, but the more I'm working on this raised floor, the more I'm thinking about putting the shower in there. And so I guess this is turning into a bathroom video instead of a raised floor video. Now, whenever I do something crazy, call up my girlfriend and see what she thinks about it. Right now, she is not in the United States. She is in Portugal because she went over there to play some pro basketball. I need to ask you something. Okay, that's never good. What do you think about me building a shower inside the floor? So the situation right now is that I've got to build this shower inside the floor. And this is the elbow piece for the drain. 
So I've been looking for a connector bit on the end of this and I just found one. But now I need a hose, like a flexible hose that can fit in this side. So now I gotta look through all this shit and see what I can find. Uh, it's gonna take a while. what I ended up getting after a while turned out there was a different piece that was already the exact piece I needed that basically just uh, is gonna connect onto here so like the water's gonna come down like this then this piece connects on here and then you can fit a hose on top of here and then that'll be the drain that we're looking for but I was in there for like maybe an hour and a half trying to figure that out and it's probably still gonna leak so we're gonna see what happens I'm not a plumber I gotta let y'all know that. I'm not a plumber, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna make this work. So since I already drilled the hole, I'm going to install this drain. I'm going to be using this stuff called plumber's putty. I've never done any of this stuff before, so we're gonna see how well this works out. So I guess, try it. Take this stuff out. Try to make sure this is covering the whole thing. I'm just gonna drop this in here. That's it. And turn it. this hose that we're going to use inside the van and I'm going to pour some water down this drain and I'm going to see if anything leaks. Now that I know this shower pan works and actually catches water and everything, I need to build a base for it. The way that I installed this drain, since it's protruding out from the bottom of the shower pan, this can't just go straight on the ground so it needs to be lifted up off the ground at whatever distance this is. and crevices cocked up. I mean, you, can, you can't even really see where the transitions are anymore. I'm gonna let this dry. Then I'm gonna go out to the van and try to install it. Just wanted to say I'm taking a quick break from that shower and floor build because I'm finally on my way to drop off the blue 1989 Ford Econoline. I've been holding on to it for a while because I've been waiting to drop it off to my buyer for the right time. So now it's finally the right time they're finally ready to pick it up, so I'm going to drop it off to them right now, and uh, then we'll get back to work after that. Wait, do you have any more questions about the, uh, you know, I I'm finally dropping this van off. This is my new buyer. Hi! So, title and keys going to her. Oh. 
and she's Thanks. actually starting a YouTube channel. Yes. So I'm going to uh, include her link in the description if you want to see what happens with this van and what she does with it. But she's really excited. We're really excited. So we're going to see where she goes. Yay, it's my baby. Thank you guys so much. Oh my god, I've been crying all day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, back at home now. It was super hot outside while I was trying to uh, give her all the paperwork and stuff, but it all worked out well. So now back to work. I'm going to go ahead and try to install this shower pan in the van. Let's see how this goes. As you can probably tell, it is extremely hot out here. It's reading 97 on my phone right now, so it's approaching triple digits. I stay cool and get this work done. It's not too hot for me, but it's more than what I'm used to. I'm from the north, so. Anyway, this is the issue that I'm running into right now. As I'm installing this shower pan, I tried to run the hose from the uh, drain out this way because there was already an existing hole here that was used as a drain in the past for something in this van. Like I said, this van was an ambulance and ice cream truck and then someone else was camping in it. So I don't know where that hole came from, but it already had the right size for this hose. So I just got a new hose and put it in there. Problem is since I'm putting it over here, um, as this hose elevates to come in here, that will stop the water from being able to travel through here. So what I'm gonna end up doing is sealing up that hole and then I'm going to run the drain out in this direction just cause it'll be able to actually slope downward. And then that way when you use the shower, we're gonna have some sort of an access thing for it over here. And I also don't wanna drill any more holes into the floor of the van. All right, so it's finally time to test this out and see if anything's leaking. Now, I hate doing plumbing work because there's usually always something leaking. Obviously, I just have the tub set up here and then the uh, hose is coming out. This is the door over here to the side. We just got the hose coming out right there. So we're gonna see uh, if this makes any sense. obviously a ton of work but now this is finally set up it's done you know minus making it actually look good so let me show you what i actually made obviously i made the entire thing on a platform with two by twos and then laid plywood on top what you see here this is how it's going to be it's basically going to be a platform we're going to put the couch slash bed on this side and it just like looks like a floor it's strong enough to stand on and walk on wherever you want across the entire floor. But the cool part is that when you're ready to use the shower, all you gotta do is lift up this square right here. I'm gonna put a hinge on that side. Right now I just have the drain for the shower coming out towards the door. So that's that compartment. And then I also have right over here, a storage compartment. This is gonna be storage to under the floor. So basically, you have access to everything up under the floor right there from uh, underneath the couch. 
and then I haven't actually done this yet I actually need to put the couch in there in order to see where I'm going to cut out a square back there so that you can access the battery as you can see those two wires coming out are actually going to the battery down there but I'm just gonna put a, another small trap door over there so that you can access the battery if you need to change anything or whatever. That's basically how this is set up. But then if we go around to the back, from the back door, what you can see is this is a ton of storage down here from the back. So you just access this from the back. I'm probably just gonna put some doors on here so it looks a little bit neater from back here. Minus the shower curtain. I didn't talk about how I'm going to run the water into the shower. And that's because I'm gonna be utilizing a portable shower for this. So basically I'm going to be using this and this is something that I bought on Amazon. I have no idea what brand this is or whatever, but I'll try to find it and put it in the description. This is a um, on-demand water heater. Basically you just use those small little propane cans and they have a uh, propane inlet right here on the back and then you just hook this on and then it has a tube that you run into a water jug of your choice and then you just run that in there and then um, you would attach a shower hose to it. And then on the front they have temperature control so you can actually have uh, hot water and this functions as a pump as well so literally all you have to do is plug this in and use it so I'm just gonna right now I don't have a specific place for this to go I wanted to put it under the floor but then you wouldn't be able to like access all the controls and the stuff on the back so um, I'm just gonna end up putting this somewhere towards the end of the build but it's great because this is literally portable so that's why I got this instead of like building an entire shower system it's gonna be much quicker to just use this instead After a ton of work, it's uh, it's actually 12.45 right now. Crazy late, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits for today. But the entire back floor is done, shower is done, storage compartment done. Everything's done back here, so all I have to do is wake up tomorrow morning and assemble the couch that's gonna go over here. So once I get that assembled and put over here, I'm gonna test out the shower. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. So of course this is not going to be as smooth of an ending as I thought it would be. Every time I'm doing this stuff, there's always something that's holding me back. I built the raised floor at the exact with a little bit wider than the couch specifically so the couch could go here however i was not taking into account that the higher up you go on the wall it actually caves in a little bit it's a little bit more narrow than it's supposed to be as it goes up higher and higher and higher and that's on every single wall and of course i did not actually originally design the couch to be on top of this raised floor because i didn't know that i was going to make this raised floor when i first got started basically the problem i'm running into is that the couch cannot flip all the way out and it's actually not completely fitting on the platform when it's fully assembled so basically i'm going to be able to leave that uh armrest on and this side I have to take it off because as you can see it comes to an end and the armrests actually hold up the bed and then I was going to build the whole frame under here to hold it even stronger but as you can see right now I just have a stack of two by fours holding it up I actually found a solution to my leg problem I'm going to be using some of these hairpin legs because uh, these are really strong, really low profile. And I thought it would be cool to like kind of break up the, the wood look in the van.
So this is temporarily put together with the hairpin legs just to hold it up and get it in position. What I'm going to end up doing is uh, building a storage cabinet thing under here that also adds extra support to it. So as of right now, this back area is pretty much done. I'm just going to test out the shower by showering in it. All right, so what I've got over here is a six gallon water jug. I'm just going to be feeding that portable shower hose into this. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can actually use one of these little screw-in uh, portable propane canisters or a full-size propane canister to heat your water with this device that I'm about to use right now. However, it's over 100 degrees outside. It's hot enough for me. I do not need any hot water, so I will not be plugging this in. You can actually just use it as a water pump. Oh, you, you really thought I was gonna get naked, huh? Okay, well, let me introduce you to something. It's called clickbait. All right, we're on YouTube. I can't get naked on YouTube. I also don't really wanna get naked in front of everybody in the world. I'm wearing shorts. Towards the end of this build, I'm going to make a, um, like a magnetic shower curtain that can sit inside of this shower until I'm ready to put it up onto the, uh, the ceiling here. But as of right now, this is just how I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna try not to get water everywhere. It's working. Some soap action in here. It's working out pretty well because this doesn't actually pull like a ton of water out. So with like a six gallon tank, I don't know how much water you could use. I mean, you could probably use like two gallons per shower. I mean, or less. All right, anyway, thank you all for watching this video and getting this deep into it. Obviously, I'm taking a shower now and it's working out just fine. This van is actually coming together. All I gotta do left is the kitchen and then a bunch of finishing touches. Also, if you enjoyed anything that I did in this video, make sure you hit that like button because when you do, it helps out with the YouTube algorithm so I can get more people to see these videos and then I end up getting more money so that it makes me want to do these videos more and build more vans and more people out there can get more vans. It's just a really good situation when all you got to do is hit that like button. Just make that thing turn blue. That's all you got to do. Anyway, thank you all for watching all the way to the end. That was a much needed shower from all that sweating I've been doing. In fact, I'm about to get back in after this and uh, cool off a little bit more. Next week, I'm going to tackle that kitchen area and I got a ton of great ideas to put into that area. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later. Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen, she lit me to evening. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snippet. You well overdue for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a murder, she wrote it. Still up with courage, you're doing a service. Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the breaststrokes. Cut throat from the low, low, where no love goes. Women buddy, buddy, like a spin.